Hey everyone, it's Jill Celeste here with your weekly marketing strategy video and today I want to talk to you about the affirmation that gets me through everything. I have always been a big believer in affirmations, but truth be told, I really have not found one or created one that truly resonated with me. I even teach my students to write affirmations in the Celeste University but still felt a little hypocritical because I didn't have the right one, the one that really spoke to me. That is until I read a book called Empowering Women by Louise Hay. And um, the, in the copy that I have on page uh, 31, she has a list of all sorts of affirmations. And I was reading through them, and they're great. You know, I'm wise, I am healthy. And at the very end, the next to last one, she said, I give myself what I need. It is safe for me to grow. And when I read that, I thought, it is safe for me to grow. It is safe for me to grow. And it hit me like a two by four in the head when I read that because that was the exact affirmation that I need. You see, I was raised by very loving parents, but my mother suffered anxiety. And so she unintentionally instilled a fear of safety in me. So especially when it was time to make a big leap in my life, even things such as walking to the bus stop for the first day of middle school, learning how to drive, driving on interstates, going out of state for college, those types of things, I had an innate feeling that it was unsafe. It was unsafe for me physically, emotionally, financially, you name it. Now, thankfully, I busted through a lot of that mind chatter and did go and get my driver's license and go to out-of-state college. But that fear was still very innate in me. So when I read that, it is safe for me to grow, I knew I had found the perfect affirmation because yes, it is safe for me to grow. And I'm so glad that I have adapted this because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have opened the Celestial University, which was something I had dreamed about for about three years. So I'm sharing this with you as an inspiration. I want you to find the best, if you can, the best affirmation possible. And if you do, make sure you write it down. Put it in your mirror, put it on your phone, whatever the case may be, so that you will always have it. And make sure it really charges you up and feel empowered because that's the intention. So that's your homework for today. Go find an affirmation just like I did. I am wishing you so much love. I'm asking that you stay in faith. Remember, I am rooting for you. And thanks for listening to Trixie with her squeaky toy. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.